Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to talk about copying, both uh, deep and shallow copying, and kind of the difference between the two, as well as some ways you can think about it that hopefully makes things a little bit more clear. Anyway, let's jump into it. Okay, so for this, I'm going to write a little bit of code, and then I guess we'll draw and paint. Why not? Oh, my keyboard's still here again. Dang it. Um, so I'm just going to make a very simple list that just contains some values in it. Uh, we'll work with other data types later to demonstrate this better. Um, and I'm gonna just going to do a very simple assignment here where y now refers to x. And you'll see that if I print out x and y that these both contain the same sets of values. And if I were to append something to x, uh, you'll, you know, of course see that in x, but you might be surprised to see it also in y. And this is, you know, this doesn't even involve copying at all. This is just how assignment works in reference-based languages. Um, and if, if you want a better way to visualize this, um, when we made that list, so let's just break this down by having x equals 1, 2, 2, 3. So what this kind of did is it sort of made a box, and in Python this is actually a pi, or C Python, it is a pi list object. And this pylist object contains whatever values are in here. Now, those values themselves are actually pi object uh, pointers. So there are actually you know, three little objects that this pylist points to. And this is you know, a, a pi long object, I think, is uh, the right type for CPython. Um, but these three will all be pi longs. And this is where the actual data gets stored in here. And so there are you know, three slots of pointers in this pylist object um, that are pointing at you know, these objects here. And when you say x equals this, what you're essentially saying is you have a name x, and that has a linkage to this object here. Um, so this this x refers to this blob of memory here that you know internally is represented as some pointers to some other blobs of memory. Now when you uh, when I did y equals x here, what this kind of did is it made another y here uh, black that made a y name and that y name is actually just pointing at the same object here. So we uh, you know, assigned y equals x, it just made another name pointing at this same thing. It didn't do any sort of copying. We didn't end up with any new objects as a result of doing that. So then when we did x dot append, um, let's go back to black, and we did x dot append four, what that did is it made a new, new purple, I guess. It made a new pylon here. Uh, well, actually, that <laughs> implementation detail, that pylong probably already existed, um, but it just accessed it. Um, it made a new pylong here, and it appended to this structure up here. We got another another pointer here as a result of doing this append operation here. And so even though it looks like we only modified x, since y points at the same name here, you know, x and y are both going to reflect that modification there. And that is the basic concept that we're going to also apply to copy. But I want I want to get this out of the way first so you can understand, you know, just because an assignment happens doesn't mean that a new object gets created. Um, okay, so that's that's that part. Now I want to talk about copying. And for copying, we're actually going to make a list of lists to better represent this. Um, so let's let's start over here. And so we're going to make x as a list that contains lists, one, two, three. Now, in this case, we are actually going to make a copy of this list. And most built-in objects in Python have a copy method on them. There is also a copy module, uh, which implements you know, more generic ways to copy objects. So if we do x.copy, we're going to get a, you know, a new copy of this list. So if we say y equals x dot copy, so note that this time we're doing a copy and we're not just doing a, a normal assignment. We're actually creating a brand new list. Um, so now if we have x and y, you'll see that they, you know, they look the same right now. But if we do x dot append and let's say a list of four, 
you'll see that we have gotten that for list inside X, uh, but Y remains unchanged. Um, and you know, so this is this is the baseline of copying. Now, one thing that you might not expect in here is if you were to append to any of these inner lists. So if we do X zero, which is just that one list, if we were to append, I don't know, nine 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 or something in there, uh, you'll see that it reflects properly in X. But we've also kind of reflected it in Y as well. And this is because we have done what's called a shallow copy. Now, if we go back over to paint, um, how are we going to do this? I guess we'll just start over. <laughs> we'll just delete everything. Um, and we'll do X equals, and I'm going to simplify this a little bit so that I don't have to draw as much. We're just going to do a very simple list containing two lists. Um, and I'm going to leave out the actual immutable elements. So we're going to leave out the numbers for this. Um, so when we did that, we made a pie list here. And this refers to two other pie lists. Uh, pie list and pie list. And this one contains the one. This is the one list, this is the two list. You can imagine those are actually separate pi long objects, but in this case, we're just gonna reference them like that. And if we draw the pointers in, so the first element is here and the second element is here. And we have a name X, which refers to uh, this pi list here. Cool, so that's kind of the first step. We set up a list that has lists of lists. And the next thing that we did is we did an assignment where we did y equals x dot copy. Now this is a shallow copy. So what this did here is it took this pi list here, and we're gonna have to clean this up a little bit, but it made, um, this is gonna be a little bit sloppy. I'm sorry for the uh, OCD-ish. Um, oops. Oh, it's really messed up now. Anyway, so it made a new list, uh, but it, it only did a shallow copy, so it only copied the outside list. And this still refers to these two inner lists. Um, I guess we can color this purple since this is a new object here. Yeah, something like that. Um, so this made a copy of the first level of the list, but not any of these inner lists here. And so if we go back to our little name diagram, y now refers to this, this object here. That's not a line. It refers to this object here. So then when we went to append stuff to x0, that's this list here. This x0 dot append 999. Uh, what that did is it went into this inner list here and modified this here to have a new number. And that is reflected in both of these lists because they still point to these same inner lists. So anyway, that's shallow copying where only the first layer results in a new object. Now this, you know, seems not great. Like, uh, <laughs> You, you kind of end up in a situation where you have unexpected behavior. Um, so you might ask, well, how do I fix this? And the fix to this is to do a deep copy. So what a, a deep copy does, is it'll take every layer and then duplicate it. So you would get a whole new, you get the first layer duplicated, you get each of these inner lists duplicated. And let's show how to do that in code. And the easiest way to do that is with the copy module. Uh, if we do z equals copy dot deep copy, of x, uh, so you, now we have x and z, and if we did x zero dot append nine thousand one, you'll see that it's reflected in x, but z got it, uh, its own copy of these inner lists, so it's not reflected there. And so that's kind of what that's, that's what a deep copy would be. So it would have it has its own separate kind of universe of all of the objects. Now any immutable object will still be shared, but because they are immutable, they cannot be changed. It doesn't matter whether they have multiple copies or not. So these these numbers are actually always you know this is this is the same two object the same pi long object for all of those twos even though you know they 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 got deep copied. Um, there are other ways to deep copy as well. Uh, 
the copy module is notorious for being kind of slow. And this is also why you tend to want to avoid copying whenever possible, because it, you know, it's slow and deep copy is even slower. And the copy module is not super optimized. It's written in pure Python. And so uh, it can often be pretty slow. It also has to do recursion and stuff to recurse through each level of your object and duplicate it. I mean, I guess I could do it iteratively, but anyway. Um, but there are other ways to do copying, and I don't really recommend using the other ways, mostly because it's less obvious to a reader, uh, but some of them may be faster. One example of a deep copy operation is to send your object through JSON. So if we did json.loads, json.dumps, x, uh, you'll see that we have, you know, we were able to generate a new copy here. And this, you know, because it serialized a string and then serialized back from a string, this will be a completely new object. Uh, relative to your original object. You can also, of course, do this with pickle. I really would not recommend using pickle, um, but you know the same loads.dumps trick works here as well. Um, this is actually, from what I understand, this is the fastest way to deep copy, uh, unless your objects implement a lot of custom pickle set state, uh, read state stuff, but I wouldn't recommend it in actual code. Uh, but anyway, that's the difference between shallow copying and deep copying, as well as just direct reference assignment. Hopefully the diagrams made things a little bit more clear. Uh, if there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.